Hey everybody, how you doing today? We haven't had a video uh, in a while. I know some of you had commented in uh, my video saying, when are you going to do another video about gold and silver and stuff? But uh, I figured I'd do one now because I just took a look at um, the prices, right? <laughs> and in, in I think it's starting to, wow, look at that, $94 up. Uh, and it's at twenty one ninety three, and I believe this is an all time high for gold. So I just wanted to do a video and ask you guys, what are you doing? Are you selling into the strength, or are you still looking to buy because you think it's going to go higher? Um, I was pretty much thinking, you know, like late last year, I suspected gold will go higher and maybe reach 2500 by the end of the year and the trend is looking like it is going there 2193 at the moment and silver is 24 and a half a little bit over 24 and a half it's still lagging because silver reached close to 50 a long time ago and it's never gotten up there so i think you know we have to see if it could go to 29 and pass that right now, I haven't been tracking the price of actual gold coins, but um, we can do that right now, right? So I just saw like an ad on AppMax saying that it's still like 20 somewhat dollars over spot. Um, maybe this PAMP one here. I'm sure the gold eagles and Canadian maples and those type of coins are going to have a premium. So let's take a look here, right? Uh, gold bars, uh, let's go with this one here, bars, oh, Atmex ones, right? So we want the one ounce, one ounce gold, so 22.93, so it's a hundred dollars over spot, okay. Not great, I mean, I guess it's great in the sense that it's better than silver, but, um, you're still paying a premium there. That's how AppMix makes their money. But let me just go. Here it is. As low as $30 over spot. What could that be? Hmm. So spot's $21.93. So it should be like $22, like 30 or 40 something like that. Yeah. So I guess maybe this one. Yeah, like this one here is probably like the ch these are the cheapest ones, twenty two sixty eight. Uh, I don't necessarily like uh, bars as much as the coins, but you know, one ounce of gold is one ounce of gold. So this one here, the Perth Mint, which people know quite well. Um, if I were to choose, I think I would go with this one. But if you want the cheaper one, it would be this these two or or i guess this one here secondary market is kind of like a banged up uh, version of it so now i kind of get the sense of you know what the prices are like and maybe down the line i'll look into more like you know gram bars and uh, ki uh 10 ounce bars and and even kilo like kilo is what 71 grand now uh, and they might have a 500 as well, but not on this page. Yeah, so um, I think the reason why people are buying or, or the, the price of gold is going up is because uh, they're fleeing away from the U.S. dollar, right? There definitely seems to be this market sentiment that you don't want your U.S. dollar parked in just a savings account and you want it to go somewhere it would work better, right? So um, in addition to gold, uh, you got to go to the cryptocurrency page and go to Bitcoin. Um, I think it hit like very close to 70000 per coin. So a lot of the money, uh, a lot of the, the fiat money has rotated into uh, Bitcoin as well. So, um, is it a good time to buy now? Doesn't look like it, but it could definitely go higher. I do pay attention to, um, crypto markets, uh, regularly. So I have a, se a, a sense or an idea as to where it's going to go. There's going to be these pullbacks, right? Like over here, there's a pullback and it's another pullback here. Um, 
but uh, there's a the difference between uh, gold and, and Bitcoin is that Bitcoin has a finite, limited amount of supply, where gold, um, as the gold price goes up, you can still go digging for gold and, and mine the gold and, and increase the supply, right? So um, this will go higher uh, probably into the, you know, mid to high 70,000, maybe by uh, late, mid to late April, because there's a, there's an event called the Bitcoin halving, halving. So the supply of Bitcoin that produces each day, I think it's like 900 Bitcoin a day. But uh, going forward, uh, figure around April, mid-April, um, it's going to get cut into 450 Bitcoin a day. So there's going to be less Bitcoin. And the demand to buy Bitcoin is coming from these, uh, what you call Bitcoin ETFs that got approved early in the year. There's like 10 or 11 of them. And one of the biggest ones right now is from BlackRock. It's called IBIT. And you can get exposure to Bitcoin by going into your brokerage account and buying the ETF um, outright. So you could buy 100 shares and it'll be 39.55 at the moment. This is on from Friday's price, today is Sunday. So if uh, on Monday morning, the, the price of Bitcoin starts to go down, obviously the Bitcoin ETF will go down as well. So you'll be able to get exposure to um, Bitcoin this way, okay? So both gold and Bitcoin and the stock market, you know, all three technically, are at all-time highs. Let me just go back to here and look at the indexes. Well, it's right now in the futures mode, but if you go like five years, see that? It's like very close to, well, I think it hit all-time highs uh, you know, early in February, but it's up there, right? And a lot of the, the gains in the, in the market is, is propped up by tech stocks that are driven by AI, like, like Nvidia, Apple, Facebook, all those companies. They are the ones driving up the indexes. So time will tell whether they keep going forward or we're going to have some pullback in the middle of March. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, We'll see if it breaks 2200 or not. Right now it's Sunday evening, uh, March 10th. It's at 1292. We'll do a 24 hour chart. So yeah, it's just a few dollars down, a dollar or two down right now. But the trend has been going higher and higher and higher, right? And, uh, yeah, that's basically it for today. I don't have any information about the deals that I used to do haven't been uh, plugged into that kind of stuff for a while, um, doing other stuff, but, uh, I, I still do, you know, get coins from time to time from, for customers that want to buy, and then I have to ship it out. That kind of stuff I still do from time to time, but, uh, I haven't been buying any for myself at the moment because we, most of us, you know, who've been doing this, I'm sure many of you, who've been on my channel from many years ago, have already bought gold when it was like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300. And so like there's no need to keep buying unless you want to, but there's really no need to keep buying all this, the same stuff, right? So that's where we're at. Um, and any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And I'll try and do more updates on just markets in general not just gold and silver but i'm going to start doing more of that as well right uh, because most of you who's been with my channel for many years probably already have enough gold and silver so you know diversify into other assets right all right so yeah any comments or questions leave them down below if you're brand new to this channel please subscribe if you like and um, hit the like button and i will see you in the next video thanks